And welcome back. Folks, this global pandemic that we're facing right now has caused so much anxiety and uncertainty around the world, but the Bible tells us that we are not to have a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Our team at The Watchman Show and Christians United for Israel continues to forge ahead with our mission to bless Israel and the Jewish people. Now, I said before the break that we're going to give you tangible ways that you can bless Israel during and after the coronavirus. Here's number one, the most obvious one if you watch this show, join our team at Christians United for Israel. We are America's, probably the world's, largest pro-Israel organization with over eight million members and growing every day for such a time as this. Now that second tangible way that you can bless Israel will be after this coronavirus passes. Our good friend Ron Dermer, the Israeli ambassador to the United States, likes to say that the only thing better than standing with Israel is standing in Israel, and I wholeheartedly agree. So when this coronavirus crisis passes, and it will pass, I encourage you to visit Israel. We talked earlier in the show about how the Israeli tourism industry has basically collapsed due to this global pandemic. Once it passes, there's no better way to bless Israel than to actually visit Israel. Not only will it change your life and draw you closer to God Almighty, but it will help the Israeli economy get back on its feet. I think of Genesis 12, 3, blessing Israel, a biblical mandate to do just that. Here is our opportunity as followers of Jesus to fulfill the mandate. Hang in there, folks. God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. <laughs>